I think uh, maybe you have to go back a few decades to, to my father. And I mean, he grew up in India, and there the pollution and the smog is a bit more prevalent. There's less laws and less, especially at that time, there were less things in place that regulated pollution and environment. His philosophy was that there was a greener, cleaner, more environmentally friendly way, a better mode of transport, a better alternative, um, and it was using electric propulsion. We've been developing uh, electric vehicles for pretty much 16, 17 years, and we've been making hybrids for about eight years, nine years. We bought the Metrocab name in about 2008, um, and we completely converted the Metrocab to a range extended electric vehicle. So, this is where the generator is powered by a, a petrol engine and it's not connected to the wheels in any way, so we can turn our engine on and off and still drive the vehicle in full performance mode because it's really an electric vehicle with an auxiliary charger. Because we don't have an alternator and our engine isn't running anywhere near as long as in a normal taxi, we have a DC-DC converter that gives us uh, 12 volt power for the lights and the pumps and the cooling systems and the radio. So uh, we've designed all of this in-house, we've got our own onboard charger, um, which provides power which will charge the battery to about 80% in about four to five hours depending on your main supply. But the engine will fully charge the battery in about eight minutes. We've gone down this route of adopting uh, digital displays. One of the big reasons for that is because our powertrain is hugely intelligent and it's, it can provide you with so much data. So, and data is king for the taxi driver by the way. Uh, from, our, from meeting with them, talking to them, understanding them, these guys live by every penny, you know, that's what their calculations constantly are. They look at every mile, they watch the speeds that they do to make sure that they're not going too fast or too slow and that they, so they can project their earnings. So to meet this end, we use our own displays. We make our own displays and we, in the past, use IMX35 and IMX53 Freescale processors and the operating system for those processors was Windows CE. We have many problems with the IMX35. We effectively wasted 18 months of development time just to get that working. Round about two years ago, uh, Solid State Supplies, one of our distributors, uh, offered us the CC6 module from Digi and uh, offered me Android build and Android source code. This turned out to be a very good thing. The Windows CE licenses for the graphic environment software I was using previously, uh, to upgrade to Android to the new processor would have probably cost about £200,000. And I moved the development environment to a different environment, which cost me £1,500. And the software development cycle, life cycle, has moved from maybe one project a year to about 15 projects a year. So it's far, far faster. So it's saved me money, it's saved me time. I can do more projects in, in a given amount of time. The CC6 module is a little more expensive than buying the components and fitting them on the board yourself. But what you get by getting the CC6 module is a pre-qualified, guaranteed module with a company that's got money in the bank with great support. They've been exemplary in their support for us. Um, convincing us to use Android was a really good thing to do. We've actually reduced the cost, even though the components are slightly more we're using the Digi. Overall, we've saved rather large sums of money, which is fantastic. So not only have we speeded things up, we've made the displays cheaper. So Fraser Nash over the years has developed all of the technologies in-house, so everything from DC-DC converters, the engine modules, the generators, the controllers, the software, the displays, all in-house. The departure from this uh, very recently with Digi, because their experience with Digi support has been exemplary. They've uh, got a really good module, it's very well um, supported, so my overall experience with using the Digi module has been fantastic.